What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and for the next few videos probably we're going to be playing a full story mode playthrough of Marvel Heroes utilizing Angela. This is how she looks in game by the way and we're going to be using all of our experience boost or at least most of them so you're going to see some really fast leveling kind of what you could see if you did have a bunch of heroes leveled already. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. The more characters you have leveled, the faster you're going to level the next one, basically. You're going to get a big increase to bonus XP. And by the way, like most of you know, we are playing on a backup PC, and it's not nearly as powerful as my normal gaming and editing PC, which crashed. But it's really the best I can do right now. I'm going to have to pretty much rebuild the other one. And since, like I said in the last video, I need to fix my car as well, I kind of have to do that first. So what I'm thinking is, not this weekend, but next weekend, I'll probably begin the building a new PC process. Luckily I have some of the parts, but the main one I need to get is a new motherboard. And since I have to do that, I'm just going with a new case altogether. One that's going to be easier to build in, upgrade, and just work on in general. So yeah, it's a long process, but I do know that eventually we're going to get there. As for one more bonus XP thing that I wanted to show you, Cyclops also does offer that as far as synergy. So we have our Cyclops leveled, and because of that, we can go ahead and click on the button next to him, and we'll get a bonus 10% XP on top of everything else. I'm not really sure what else we should do synergy-wise, but we know we're going to use that as far as leveling Angela. Then I'm going to just probably build in a physical attack. So we'll go ahead and skip this process, and then we'll go ahead and look at some of her skill tree. This isn't going to be our final build, so that's why I'm not too worried about this. That bonus XP is really all I'm worried about right now. And speaking of that, you can also take a look at any other bonuses you may have under the stats tab on your character. So we'll just go over there and scroll down, and we'll end up seeing that we have a very sizable XP bonus because of all the characters we have leveled. So it's 320%. Now when you add up all these bonuses, you're going to get a very fast leveling experience. You won't get that, of course, if it's your first or second character, or, you know, one of the early on ones. But it is something you'll eventually enjoy. I just wanted to point that out because you may end up wondering how am I leveling so fast from the story. So that's going to explain that, but I do have to say, all the changes they made to the story, which is quite a while ago now, it just made a vast improvement to the game. They added a lot of XP, condensed it, and what it ended up doing was allowing a pretty solid playthrough experience and either full leveling to 60 or very close. In my opinion, it's a much more pleasurable leveling experience, way better than grinding for those levels. Now as far as her skill trees, we've been looking at them a bit here. She does have Assassin's Armory, Heavenly Ribbons, and Wingless One. There's some really cool ones here like Know My Name and Weep. I'm really not sure how we're going to spec her right now, but it does look like she heavily relies on physical attacks, and she does a lot with bleeding as well. So we can definitely put some synergy points into some of those areas. Personally, I like to play through with the character, experience some of their abilities, and find which ones I like the most. Then I try to just respec them. They make it very easy to reset your skill trees, or even just have multiple builds and switch off. So you can find out which one works the best for you. At first I was thinking, you know, Assassin's Armory all the way, but the more I look at her abilities, the more I think I'm going to lean towards Ribbons. She even has a multi-function ability, which is called Living Ribbons. So you're going to have three options here to toggle on. First she has Constrain. So that sounds pretty decent. Then after that she has Barrage, which is probably the one I'm going to use. Just sounds awesome. And she also has a Ribbon Shield. So all in all, it seems like a fantastic ability. And then for her final skill tree, we have the Wingless one. So we have some move abilities like Heavenly Charge. We also have her signature move under this tree. By the way, she also does have a Flight move, so I like that type of path. And there's another passive here, the Daughter of Odin. Passives are always great because, well, you only can use so many abilities at one time, really. So you're going to want to put in some passives as well. 
But after her take flight, we have her signature, nothing for nothing. You can definitely pause it on this, but it's a signature melee area movement ribbon attack. It can be activated up to three times within eight seconds. The first two hits cause Angela to spin into her foes. The final hit causes Angela to lash out with her ribbons. Then it has some power synergy with her ultimate, Helen Back. We'll check that out in just a second. We only have a few abilities left in this tree. And then on to our ultimate itself. Now for the ultimates, they're always pretty awesome no matter what character it is. And this one's an area ribbon attack. So it's going to have an active effect where Angela's ribbons periodically pull enemies near. Invulnerable for the duration of the power. And it grants a buff. The buff seems pretty awesome as well. So we'll unlock that at level 52. It's going to be a while down the road. Anyways, for now, we're going to begin our playthrough, and that's at the beginning of the game in the prologue. Now, I ran to the wrong place at first, so there might be a little cut here. I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm also going to include the story elements when we get to them, because I think it's important, especially for doing a full playthrough. And then, while we run through the raft, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my situation again, and I'm just going to use some of this playthrough as a chance to talk to all of you. Heads up, people. This is Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've called you here because we have a bit of a situation. As we speak, the supervillain prison known as the Raft is under attack by agents of Hydra. Several prisoners have already escaped their cells. Level 7 threats. Like Green Goblin. Sabretooth. Living Laser. Dr. Octopus. Some have even escaped the island. S.H.I.E.L.D. has agents on site, but we need your help. Get to the raft and do what you can. Good luck. Alright, so there you see the art style, which we've seen before from some of our other Marvel Heroes videos. But it's pretty unique, and you know what? I enjoy it. I think it's a pretty awesome story as well. Now, as we're running through here, remember, we're getting tons of bonus XP. Most of you, especially if you're new, will not get anywhere near what level we're going to get to. Not in the raft. I also want to say I always run the wrong way at the beginning. And I'm just now figuring that out once again. Now, unfortunately, since we're playing on a backup PC, an old laptop, I definitely noticed lag. I mean, we were locking up here and there all over the place. And that's so frustrating. We're going to have to optimize this game a little bit more, especially while we're playing on this old PC, but I do apologize for that. We're doing our best. Just to talk to you about that situation, or my entire situation, really, I'm pretty open about it. So currently I'm working between 9 and 10 hours a day, basically. Um, I had to walk to work today. And part of my problem, like I mentioned in the last video, is I don't have a car it needs fixed so unfortunately that's first priority I have to get that done so I've been saving for that now I am expecting to have that done by the end of next week but it's going to take most of the money I've saved up after that I can finally start to rebuild my computer so I'm going to need a motherboard first and foremost they will need some other parts as well that's why it's going to put it out Probably until the first or second week of November. That's what I'm hoping for. I think it's pretty realistic because it's definitely my next step. So after that, I'm going to try to have pretty much everyday videos or close to it once again. I'm going to try to do all the things I talked about. So the Marvel related videos. DC ones too, but comic books in general. By November, DC Comics Legend should be out as well. And that looks like it's going to be a very promising game. I plan to cover it from its very beginning, for sure. We'll also have a trailer done kind of explaining what the channel is going to be about. And we're hopefully going to have some special videos as well. There are some that I think I can work on while my PC is down. You know, besides trying to get through this playthrough. Although, I have to admit, the lag and the locking up of the game is really annoying. I'm sure you can easily see it too. Like I said, I'm going to try to fix it, optimize as much as I can for the next videos. 
but I don't know how much I can do because it is an old PC. I guess I should just be happy I can finally access normal things again. I went almost a week of being off a PC altogether. Actually, it's probably over a week. I just could look a few things up on my phone, that was it. And that was very difficult. Because I've been on a computer for years and years, and spend most of my day on one, or at least I had. I guess it helped that I was so tired from working that I just slept most of the time anyways at home, or else I would have been really bored. But here in the raft, of course, you're going to see all sorts of villains escaping. It's going to be part of the storyline. You're going to fight a few like Living Laser. We saw Electro, and we saw Venom. So like I said, it's a pretty cool story, and you'll learn more about it as you go through the game. Well, you actually see it firsthand on this channel. And trust me, I'm going to work on the video quality, so... You know, if you're thinking, well, this doesn't look that great, you know, we're going to try to fix it up. I do have a few ideas, and I think we can do better, even though I do feel kind of handcuffed right now. Just having my main PC go down, that was really difficult. But I do have a few parts for it. I'm mainly going to need a motherboard, a power supply, and then I may have to get, well, I have to get a new case for sure. And I probably should get some RAM. So yeah, it's going to take a little while to save up, but like I said, I mean, I have to do it as soon as possible. For my sanity, for the channel for sure. And just so I can get back to making videos which I love. Okay, and I'm sorry about earlier, here we're seeing Venom escaping. So yeah, I knew that happened, but it just happened now after Living Laser. We're going to be fighting another boss coming up very soon, and then we'll be done with the prologue. And by the way, they did change this up just a bit. So it's a little different from what I've done many times. Though it's not the first time I've done this version. I'm just saying, it used to be different. And there's the enemy himself, Green Goblin. So once we take him down, we'll be done with this first part. We'll take another look at some of that storyboard. You know, with how they do it. And we'll basically wrap the video up after that. I know, I haven't even put anything in the points yet. I'm not really sure where I'm going with the build, and, and even though it's going to make fighting easier, we still kind of slack off on that, at least for the beginning. I mean, we're level 10 already, that's crazy. This just kind of shows you what all that XP bonus can actually do. But we'll just go over here, talk to this guy, we'll head on out, and see the next part of the story. The raft assault was a spectacular success. If I do say so myself. Thanks to Hydra, there will be bedlam in the streets of New York. And the list? Yes, the entire list. But I can't help but wonder, Dr. Octopus, Modoc, Wizard, what does Dr. Doom gain from their freedom? And with this, we end our transaction. This... Is it? This technology exploits a flaw in Tony Stark's security system. Well then, Hell Hydra. Be gone. Alright, so there we go. We're done with our first part of the playthrough. And like I said, it should only get better. I'm going to work on making the video better. Just optimizing the game. And hopefully getting some of the bugs worked out. So I hope you check back for part 2 and beyond. And then, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. That's going to be it for now, but until next time, good luck, and take care.